It's bleach fill day. It's bleach fill day. It's the day we see people bleach the shit out of their hair and make it fall off. Who knew there'd be one day in my life? Who knew there'd be a day in my life? Who knew there were... What am I saying? Who knew there would come a day that I get excited about bleach fails? I can't hide it anymore. Honestly, bleach has made my career. The only person I have to thank at any award show is a bucket of bleach. Next time I go to an award show, I'm going to bring a bucket of bleach and first of all, bring it as my guest and put it in the seat next to me. And then also bring it upstage and just say, thank you for my career. Without you and without all the damage you provide to people trying to do their own hair, I would not be here. So thank you for being my friend. <laughs> Anyways, we got some people going from black hair and attempting to go platinum blonde. I'm not even gonna say hopefully their hair doesn't fall off because sometimes I wanna see a little action, you know what I mean? Okay, let's watch the videos. Our first contestant in today's How Badly Can You Damage Your Hair show, sponsored by um, Quick Blue by L'Oreal. Is that bad? Should I cut that out? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with quick blue for the record, but I'm gonna keep that in. <laughs> this is by Maria M. Beauty, and this is called Bleaching My Hair at Home Black to Blonde Part 1. We have a multi-part video, ladies and gentlemen. That means there's gonna be a lot going on. Let's ch ch check it out. Today I'm gonna be bleaching my hair and this is my natural hair. I do actually dye my hair dark brown, like black brown, usually with a box dye. I know box dye is horrible, but I've been doing it almost every six months. Last time I did it was about two months ago and I have asked hairdressers in the past if they could get my hair from this to a light platinum blonde, but they've all told me that they can't. Oh my God. God, there's so much to unpack. Whoa, whoa! She colors her hair every six months with black box dye and she's been doing it for the past seven years. And then she said she went to hair stylist and asked them if they could make her platinum blonde. They were like, nah, girl. And personally, I like a challenge, but I understand why other people would be like, no, cause this is like serious. And I don't know how she is going to do this at home by herself. This is going to be a task. I found out that blonde me, bond enforcing lightener. Okay, work. Yes, it lifts up to nine levels. I've never used that product but it seems legit. We'll have to see. I got the 20 volume and then I watched Brad Mondo's video and in his video, he said that he uses a 30 volume developer usually and that's what's recommended. And because I have such dark hair, I thought, mm, I think I should use that. So I got a 30. Yes. If you use 20 volume on your hair, it would probably do not much. Like you're gonna need 30 volume and foils and multiple sessions to get that platinum blonde and a big chop and a lot of protein and bond building masks. Like you're gonna need the works. I also bought the Blonde Me line of toners. I'm into this plan. It seems actually really legit and like, like it might go kind of good. Let's admit it though. Is it gonna go good? Is it even possible to go good? Doubtful. I thought it was like a rodeo song or like a country song and it was actually just like an EDM song. So I started with the ends at two o'clock. At 2.40, we were finished with the ends and we went in with the roots and we finished from 2.40 to three. So at three, we were done with the roots and now I'm gonna leave the roots on for about 20 minutes and then take it all off. I think I'm single-handedly <laughs> saving people from destroying their hair. I'm gonna give myself all the credit for this. She did her ends first in foils and then she did the roots later. Yes. So this is me the next day after it's dried and everything. And as you can probably tell, I have very, very, very uneven hair. Oh, whoa, shoot. Ah. She has a lot of black pigment in that hair. Ooh, I'm excited. This is gonna be crazy. We still have more videos to go and um, no, this isn't looking too good. She has to lay in that like a couple more times probably to get blonde. And I don't even know if she's going to get to that platinum blonde level 10. I don't know if she's gonna be able to do it. I don't. So not expecting it. <gasps> oh my God. I even have like a little zebra stripe going on. The stripes. So crazy, I don't know how that happened. And obviously like you can tell the parts that were put on first turned orange. I'm not gonna bleach my roots again just because they're over processed and they're very yellow. And so I'm just gonna hit the ends that remain dark brown. And I know it looks pretty fried, but at the same time I didn't cut my split end, so I have that going on, which I will take care of after the bleaching process. Oh, thank you color gods.
You're there? You're watching upon her? <laughs> we need to get those ends to let go of some bad color. It is grasping on there. We need to let go. There's a time in your life when it comes to certain relationships. You just need to let go. And her relationship with this color, she needs to let it go. Be gone. And I basically only did the ends and I left the roots because they're already really, really yellow. And I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then wash it out. Honestly, the application looks stunning. Ew. God, I mean, it's looking very scary. It's definitely a fail as of right now, but we have time to perfect this. This is how it came out. It's really, really orange, and hopefully it will lighten to the shade of my roots. But for now, I'm gonna leave it a little bit so my hair can rest. Oh my God, it hardly did anything. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll get it together. I did my ends first, obviously, because they were orange, and I left them for about an hour. And now I just touched up the parts closer to the roots. I didn't do the roots, I just went close to the parts that were more orange. And I'm gonna leave them on for 20 minutes. This is the behind the scenes of what actually happens when bleaching. So we have our hair, our bleach, we have the bag. Is somebody you know a hairstylist? These look too good for somebody to just be like, ah, oh, let's just like do it at home. Like, I don't know if it's gonna work. Like, these are really good. It takes skill to fold that long foil y'all hairstyles out there will know hey guys so this is the second day after bleaching it the third time yo it's still orange how many more times is she going to lighten her hair i'm scared i think we need to do a little chopperoo on the hair by the way if i was your stylist i would have chopped that off from the start and i would have started you fresh with a nice bob it would have been good Hi guys, so this is the third day after bleaching my hair. It does look a little bit oily over here, but that's just because I put some serum. Please, hair gods, please help her. It's extremely dry, as you can tell. Over here and over here. She's making progress. But it's not fast enough for me. It's really bad, and it gets to the point where it's really, really dry. I would have probably stopped you here, gave you a haircut, and then done a beautiful glaze over all of your hair and made it all nice and even and giving you more of like a coppery red blonde moment. It would have looked really pretty with your skin tone. Honestly, you don't need to be platinum blonde right away. Who the f am I kidding? Me, I had rainbow hair like not even that long ago and I, yeah, so I shouldn't be talking. I take that all back. This is five weeks later and you can obviously tell that it kind of did go overboard. I was only planning on going up to here where the dark was. You can obviously tell it just is up to here, but it kind of just smudged more. <laughs> Overlap because overlap equals breakage and breakage is scary. You have to be so careful when retouching the roots I just mixed some bleach with shampoo and this is how it's looking so far I'm only gonna leave it in for 45 minutes. I kind of implemented a hair care routine I didn't want to spend money on Olaplex because that's really expensive. Oh my mind is blown The fact that she has gotten her hair to look like this at home. What? I was really doubting you at first I'm sorry lock me up throw me in the jail cell. And online you can find so many amazing shampoo and conditioners, but they're really expensive. I didn't want to waste all my money and just get on shampoo. And also, I will send you hair care products. Um, we'll send you Viper, we'll send you Electric Rain, we'll send you Hydromania, Force Field. Oh, I'll be sending you Recalibrate Shampoo and Conditioner too. I got you. Did the other side and basically I did a bleach bath. Next time I would recommend just doing another round of lightener with 30 volume in foils or just going down to a 20 volume. Like I would have to actually look at your hair and evaluate the situation in real life. But a bleach bath for this is not really gonna do a whole lot for you. Um, that's for different things. I feel like it's almost at one color. It's pretty close. So I'm really happy about that. It doesn't break off if I hold, like if I pull on it, so. You guys see that? It does not break. Don't pull on it, I'm scared. <laughs> those areas that were stressed more than others, those broke off. And another aspect, like to be aware that this could happen is a little breakage here and there, like on the top. For me personally, it's here. You guys can tell if I put it up, but other than that, when it's down, you can't really see it. My question is, was it worth it? I like your blonde hair. I also like your hair dark. Ugh, this dull process blonde is just so much to keep up with as I have a dull process. Color. But honestly, I think you did a phenomenal job. I'm thoroughly impressed with your work. It's not flawless. It could be a little better. Honestly, you just need a really great gloss over your hair. Like you need a hairstylist who does blonding for a living to put on a 
pick gloss and your hair will look so flawless and beautiful. You can definitely even out this tone with a beautiful toner. I'm gonna give you a round of applause though. That was great. And she didn't cut her hair at all. I still think you should do a little haircut, but I mean, that's my advice. And our next contestant on how blonde can you get at home is Lauren Quinn. This is also called bleaching my hair from brown to blonde at home while I'll 18 in 24 hours. So what I got was these L'Oreal quick blue packets. Quick blue slaps when it comes to doing like this. Like it is intense. But sometimes you need that intensity. The thing she has on her side though, guys, is that she has fine hair and it's not too thick. Finer hair tends to let go of those color molecules a lot easier than thick hair. I would look at her hair and I'd be like, yeah, this is possible. Like we can do this. It might be hard, but we can do it. I got a L'Oreal volume 30 lifts up to three levels. I have a ton of these T18 and then I got four of the T11s. I'll do my little bleach dance for you. Bleach the bleach, bleach the bleach, bleach. Let's do the bleach. <laughs> so we're going to bleach the bottom of my hair first to see what happens. It's just like a trial, so we're just doing one. I love when people do test strands, even if the strand is the entire back of your head. You just need to know what's going on before you like start into the entire thing. So if you have time to do a test strand, do it. Even before you see your hairstyles, you can always do a test strand. Like put that thing in foils. Do a little color in there, it'd be good. We're using the back of a comb. Yeah, I got it today. It's like the closest thing to a brush I could find. The comb. Right, are you ready? No, I'm gonna not start the comb. Bottom and work my way up. Is her hair wet or is that just oil? Like, ah, uh, let's get that off before we begin. But you're blonde. Really? Yeah, it's pretty blonde. I wanna see it. Wait, it's so blonde. It's not, it just has lightener on it and um, it's not blonde. It's probably a shade of uh, orange when you rinse it off and uh, let, and blow dry it. It's gonna be a shade of orange. We toned it and this is what it came out to, which is not bad. It's not bad until you see your whole head in that color and then it's not good. But we are gonna bleach it again, tone it again, and then we're gonna do that to this and then I will come back and show you. Now you're just blonde. Like in a good way? Yeah. Okay, we're lightening again, which is music to my ears because she definitely needs a two timer, at least, or three. No way. Yeah, it's blonde. No way. <laughs> this girl is so funny. She's like, ah, it's blonde. I wish people had that reaction when I turn their hair orange, like, People expect so much out of a hairstylist. I wish I would've just done a light toner to begin with. Low key. It actually looks pretty good. Let's see if we can accomplish the rest of the task though. It, we have a lot to go. So we're bleaching the top. We're about to take it off, rinse it, tone it. What does it look like? So long. We didn't do my roots. We didn't put enough lightener on here, guys. It's too dry. It needs to be like, what caked on there. Like really caked. Cake like this. Ooh. Oh, oh, where's the cake? It's not there. We're toning it now with the lightest toner that we have. I'm gonna go my whiteboard right here. Um, your hair is not light enough for level 10 toner, period. It's not light enough. Your hair is literally level seven, so let's not even try to tone it. This is what happened when we bleached my entire head. I think it's because we used 20 volume. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It was all just going so good for her and then this happened, which is inevitable. I'm toning my hair. I know in my heart and in my soul, it will not solve the problems that I have internally. It's what I say every day, I get a matcha latte. I'm like, I really want this. And I feel like it'll fix everything, but in my in my heart and my soul, I know it, I know it just won't. Honestly, it usually does. I love matcha. So right now I'm just putting purple shampoo in my hair. Supernova will make your hair so Blonde. It is my blonde toning shampoo and conditioner. That is how I maintain my hair. So this is the final product. Wait! I purple shampooed the f out of it. It's not perfect, but it's kind of cute, and I'm in quarantine, and it's fine. Um, it is a little brassy. This side is a little bit lighter. Wait, it looks a whole lot better. So this is the final product of my hair. We can live with this. This is not bad. Pretty uneven. My roots are definitely lighter than the rest of my hair, but it's so cute and I still like it. I mean, listen, you look 
grade. But she said it. Her roots are a different color, her ends are a different color. There's a little bit of a lot going on in there. You can always get like a full head of highlights done and it'll blend in the, that kind of mix match tone you have in there and kind of even things out and make it look a little bit more refined. And I just don't think it was the right toner for you. It's a little bit too like ashy toned. I think you need something more neutral for your skin tone or just something brighter. Like I think your hair needs to be platinum. But overall, decently good job. You get a round of applause too. Congrats, you did it. You did the damn thing. Woo! All right, that was fun to watch. I actually enjoyed that. Um, you guys kick at lightening your own hair at home. I don't know how the you do it. Just be careful because one day your hair might just snap off. With that all said, make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles right here and my hair care line and my color line. You can find us on Instagram and stuff too. I will end on our website, xmodocolor.com and xmodohair.com. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.